O'Shea. Again, the header from Aldred. And the captain with the Western Sydney special. They've scored more from corners than any other side, but now they've conceded the Wanderers. And Tom Aldred with his first goal of the season, having played his 100th match for Brisbane Raw last weekend. And we know how good Western Sydney are from corners. Clisby's ball, Milanovic, and there it is. Dylan Piraeus, the substitute. Less than three minutes after coming on. He's got his third of the season. And no surprise, it is from a set piece. Corey Brown again. And it comes, not a bad ball towards Aldred. Here's Hoare, who can line up, and he drills it into the far corner. And Brisbane, with their backs against the wall, have dug deep. And it's their local boy, Henry Hoare, who has found that crucial second goal. So the 33-year-old Frenchman, a couple of deep breaths, composing himself, shooting at a dozen goals for the season, and the first at this venue. Germain from the penalty spot. And Valère Germain puts MacArthur into a 1-0 lead and becomes the first player to score an A-League men's goal at the regional football facility in Tarnit. Risden trying to halt his progress into the box. Lewis. Blasts a left-footed cross, headed back, and now the chance for Davila! Two for MacArthur! And Uli Davila celebrates extending his stay with MacArthur by scoring at the weekend. Bulls have got two. Bulls looking good. And he's really had to battle to get into John Aloisi's plans at Western United, but is now stringing together consistent games for really the first time since arriving at the club. Here's Garuccio, Western United, not to be denied, Denzaki! And where it was offside in the first half, Riku Denzaki is able to put his name in the record books as Western United's first player to score in Tani. So no further action. John Aloisi and the Western United bench and the fans behind us all saw the same replays that you did. And Aloisi's point was, as we stay with play, here's Roos, will it fall? Western United a level, or are they, or are they? Offside foils Western United for the second time in the game. And Michael Roos had been watching Cole Palmer during the week. He said, I'm ice cold. And Joanna Charactor said, yeah, you are, it's offside. Those appearances were coming off the bench and barely cameos as a sub. And he's right back into the thick of it here. Thurgates. Garuccio. Grimaldi! <laughs> Terrific in turn eight. Western United have come from 2-0 down to lead before the hour mark. And of all the things to tick off off-field, are we seeing a bit of development on field here as well? Long shot, Garuccio off the underside of the crossbar. Still on the attack, Donaghy, crossbar again. Roos, Roos, Western United are irresistible. Tarnit was worth the wait, people. Michael Roos has a double and Western United have scored four in less than 20 minutes. Tap with Nisbet. Docker again. Oh, that's a good ball for Rue. The cutback, the header, Torres with the blonde hair. The birthday boy celebrates with a goal that could blow the Premiership plate race wide open. Docker was involved along with Storm Rue with the assist. And Angel Torres. His 13th goal of this remarkable season for him. And the Mariners lead. Tim Payne has done well. Barbarousas with Van Hattam. 
Old in the middle, Cryev arriving, Barbarousas, oh, there it is! Ben Old! It illustrates the point perfectly. Barbarousas coming to look for the ball, Tim Payne with the pinpoint cross, no one tracked the run, and goal number five of the season for Ben Old. Docker. Docker. Still going. Docker! Oh, he's done it, the Brazilian! Well, it was going to be his night. Denied by the woodwork in the first half. And in the first minute of stoppage time, his perseverance, his persistence. Now given away, though, by Victor and Torgo Arslan in behind. And puts Melbourne City in front. Less than four minutes on the watch. And it's a superb finish by Tolga Arslan, who in a season of upheaval has been City's shining light. And he's into double figures. And there's about 5,000 victory fans behind that goal, willing him to square the ledger. And Fornaroli thumps it into the back of the net. And we're tied up at 1-1. It's 18 goals in 18 games now for Bruno Fornaroli as he takes another step towards the golden boot. Teague once more. More conventional this time. It's in. Damien De Silva. May we pull a victoire. Melbourne victory 2-1. Jets' primary target, I guess, in these last few games is to avoid the wooden spoon. Mr. Matalopoulos breaks the challenge of Ryan Grant. Here's a chance, big one too. Clayton Taylor against his former club. That one will feel oh so sweet for the youngster. And the Jets have the breakthrough in the 19th minute. To open up the space a bit here for Dane Ingham. Piscopo, oh clever from Reno Piscopo, lovely return from Steins, this is great football, what a goal from the Jets, Reno Piscopo firing into the roof of the goal, and it was beautifully crafted by the Jets down that right hand side. Missed out Steins and Sydney have the ball through Lolly. now Caceres forwards for Gomez, chance for Sydney to counter. Caceres has gone beyond Gomez. Nice back heel by Caceres. Oh, that's a wonderful goal. Absolutely splendid. The combination play between Caceres and Fabio Gomez gets Sydney FC back in the game. Which is perhaps one of the reasons he's going to be replaced next break in play. Bratton's been robbed on the blind side, threaded through by Taylor. Big chance for the Jets. It's Apostolos to Matalopoulos! Goal number 15 for Apostolos to Matalopoulos. That time he was looking for a teammate. And now Daniel Benny has got front position over Wall, and it's a great cross for Taggart off the line. Another chance, and Taggart doesn't need too many opportunities, and he buries it at the second time of asking. And there's that transition play. Sit back, absorb, and strike on the counter. He's against getting an early start. Katrumbus again. Benny able to turn. Here's Taggart. He turns as well, and that's two. 17 goals this season. And the goals are flowing at HBF Park. And Adam Taggart throws his hat back into the golden boot race as well. You have to question Adelaide's defending inside their own box as well. Way too much space to allow Benny in behind and Taggart. But you can't give him space like that inside the box and expect him not to hurt you. Aaron Kunder again. 
Back outside with Javi Lopez. His cross deep to the back post, arriving Kito. And now Ibasuki! It's happening. Three goals in 10 minutes. And Adelaide are on the board. And it's double figures for the season. That's nicely done. Iren Kunda. What can he produce? Taking on Warland, one on one. Iren Kunda still. Still Iren Kunda. Looking for an option now with Clough. And that's 2 2. We've still got five minutes left in the first half. And Adelaide have clawed back a two goal deficit. Well, I know both coaches will address something at half-time, and that's how open this game is. Here goes Iren Kunda. Iren Kunda, it's a great ball for Moore, and they do have it! A third goal for Adelaide, who were 2-0 down midway through the first half. And will head to the break, a goal to the good, and finals hopes very much alive. The people of your community, especially when you're in the most isolated major city in the world, Perth. There's more touch back. Oh, Ibasuki! That is all class from the Japanese number nine. Stefan Mork setting him up, but there was still so much to do. And didn't he do it brilliantly? Adelaide four, Perth two five minutes into the second half.